Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. There's an interesting and fun little project. This is how to make a diorama inside a dragon egg. <laughs> yeah, see, it's kind of fun. And I'm going to shine a flashlight in here so you can see a little bit more. But sticking with the dragon egg theme, there's actually an origami dragon in there. And I got a link to... If you want to make that paper a little origami dragon, I get a link to a website that shows you how to do it. And there's a little castle, and it's being stormed. See, the dragon is attacking the castle. Clouds the whole works. Fun little project. And uh, this egg is uh, made out of foam, carved out of foam. Uh, so let's we'll launch a tutorial on how to make it. Um, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. Hit that button if you're not. Um, leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, leave me project suggestions. I got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, and oh, and one more thing. I also show you, you know, we use the embroidery tacks here with the big, with the, you know, the large pins there. But you can also use macaroni. See this? I'll show you that too. That's just um, small shell macaroni. That makes a nice dragon skin look. So let's launch into the introduction and then we will do how to make a diorama inside a dragon's egg. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing I did was drew out my egg on a piece of uh, home insulating foam. This is Formular. You can get it at Home Depot. See it? Formular.com, even. And um, <clears throat> I cut myself uh, three pieces to make it thick enough to make the whole egg. And this way I know what size to cut the foam by how big I want the egg. And, <clears throat> and then I used a variety of tools to uh, cut it to shape. And it's actually kind of easy. You just go take your time and you just keep cutting away at it. Draw it over it. As you remove foam, the drawing will disappear. So draw, redraw your lines and just keep chipping away at it until you've got an egg shape. And uh, that's a hot wire foam cutter. You don't have to use one. Foam is very easy to cut, you can use anything. And then I finished it off with rasping and then sandpapering to get it to its final shape. Yeah, half an hour work, well maybe an hour work altogether. So now we want a little area that our scene goes in and we mark that out. And then cut it out in um, steps. Uh, use an X-Acto knife to cut out some of it to a certain level and then chip it away and then cut some more, get it deeper. You know, cut this opening as deep as you want it. And that's it. Looks good. That is the opening in our dragon egg. So it needs a little touch-up work. We'll do that with some, wrap some sandpaper on a pencil and sand it down. So now let's start making all the little scenery inside. And what we have is a castle on the top of a hill, a little tiny village, um, a lot of smoke and fire, um, some grass and a path, a little road, and um, of course our origami dragon breathing fire. So the castle on the top of the hill there is just little pieces of foam cut in like buildings. And use a ballpoint pen to make the brickwork. Right, it's going to go right in there like this in this corner. Looks good. So let's paint it. Um, just like we do with most of our castles, is we paint it black first and get it really coated really well, and then dry brush it with gray paint. And see, that's a little bit too wet, so wipe a little bit off. You want dry brushing, and for dry brushing is best. A, a, a brush with stiff bristles because you just lightly want to get some of the gray paint on it. So you can see the roof's been painted and now uh, we add some bushes and some trees and that's just terrain texture. And a little tree is actually a piece of string that's been unraveled. And I like to, you know, do as much as I can with just using you know, found stuff around the house so you don't have to buy anything. And a lot of that is what this is. You know, you think about it, you make this a dragon uh, 
egg diorama like this. You don't. You can scrounge up a lot of materials. For instance, the macaroni shells. I'm going to show you how to do the um, shell of the of the egg. Oh, now a little bit of terrain texture, and this is the path, the road, like the dirt road that goes by the castle, between the castle and the little village. And uh, we affix it with, you can either use white glue watered down or Mod, Mod Podge that's watered down. And the grass. So now our dragon. That's a little origami dragon. That's not my idea. I didn't do that. I didn't um, create that fold. There is a link in the description of this video that shows you where you can do that same little dragon on the website. I think it's origami-instructions.com. And we painted up. So now let's start putting some of this stuff together here. Uh, I got these little flames, and I will show you how to make these that we use in a few different spots. Because the castle is burning, the dragon has attacked it. Right, so I'll show you some of this uh, little, uh, little extra stuff. Uh, that is tracing paper, yellow and red spray paint, and then we can cut out various little pieces to make our flames. And this way you can select where you want to cut it out. So you spray paint first, and now you can choose different sections to get the flames the way you want them. Now there's a lot of smoke billowing out of the castle, and we used um, something called buffalo snow. It's kind of like cotton, but it's more fibrous. It's almost like a nylon material. And a little bit of spray paint, just like that, with black spray paint or gray works well too. And you get that wonderful look. See it? Like billowing smoke clouds. And for thicker flames, or for the flames coming out of the dragon's mouth, you do the same thing with cotton balls. Red would be at the root, and yellow would be on the tips. You know, and all of this stuff is going to get inserted into the diorama. You know, our background flames, our billowing smoke is glued in. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if you make a dragon egg diorama and show your friends or your family? They'd be like, wow, that's really kind of neat. And you don't have to do the same scene that we did in this one. You know, you can do any scene you want. You can do dragons flying or do, you know, who knows? I don't know. Come up with something. And if you do, make sure you send me a picture. I will put it on my website. So, you know, now we're gluing in the various parts. The castle's glued in. See the fire and the smoke in the background? And now the little village is glued in. And of course, it's got fire and smoke too. See it? <laughs> Love that. Looks good, huh? <laughs> Last thing is the dragon's on a toothpick, and that gets inserted into the back wall. So it's sticking out forward. And this is the cotton ball. That's been kind of rolled into a different shape, and then that's hot glued right into the dragon's mouth. So he's breathing fire. There we go. Looks good. What remains? Now we got to do the outside of the dragon egg. A couple of different things you can do. This works really well where you use a ballpoint pen to press in the uh, pattern of uh, dragon scales. And you want to press on it. You want that to have a nice... A feel to it and then paint it all black and make sure the black gets down in those lines and then dry brush a color purple is wonderful green is also nice you can do gray whatever color you want optionally you can use macaroni small shells and you're gonna laugh but it looks really good it really comes out good so you just glue keep gluing them onto your dragon egg and we didn't glue them onto our dragon egg this is just to show you how to do it this is a little half dome of styrofoam and then you paint them green. Or any color you want. And then dry brush over with a lighter shade of the same color. So if you did purple, do a lighter shade of purple. That's that. That's the other technique. But we ended up going with uh, these embroidery tacks. 
And it actually takes quite a few, it's like 500 of them. It's a lot of tacks. And you start at the bottom of the egg, like this. See that flat spot there? There's a big flat spot. That's how the egg stands up. And then just, you know, overlap them and go round and round and fill it in. It's a little bit unique. So that's it. You have made a dragon, a diorama in a dragon egg. Looks really good. I love it. Where else can you find something like that except on Epic Fantasy Channel? Let's get a closer look. That dragon is storming that castle. Thanks for watching. Lots more stuff on my website at stormycastle.com. All kinds of projects. 600 videos here on my YouTube channel. If you like dragons, check out my 7 foot dragon, El Guapo. If you like castles, check out my um, actual 8 foot castle sieging diorama that's still in progress. Thank you.